So guys, this is it here. You see, this is ready now. So we are going to move over to the pants. So let me show you what I've done so far. I've gone ahead, joined the two back panels. You see, I didn't join it all the way to the top here. At least one inch into this corner is where I stopped because there's going to be a zipper at the back, right? And then for the front, I joined everything, added my dart. I've also added the dart for the back here. There's a dart here, and then there's also a dart on this other side here. But for the front, if you look, you see that my dart here is longer, like I said before. And I've added, um, I've but this center seam here, I'll still open it up. I'll still open it up at least up to, um, um, like five inches down or six inches down i'll still open it up because there's going to be a button here but in the meantime i ironed it and i saw this close and ironed it so just so i'll know where the seam is you see like i said it's just half an inch that we use for this center so this is what i did here i just closed it up like this this is the front panel added my dart on this side added the dart on this other side you see but the thing is that this seam here i'll still open it up up to somewhere here and then double stitch it so the seam doesn't rip open going down any further so but just remember that we are still going to be adding button at this upper part i'll show you guys how how i did that so this is my front panel this is the back panel like i said before the back panel is also the same thing so you see i went ahead and joined it so after i joined it just like this came up one inch and stopped this is for my zipper i've not added the zipper and i added my dart added my dart so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead open up this back panel now like this you see and then i'm going to take the front panel put it on top of it this way so now i'm going to go ahead and close up this side seam here close up my coach from one side going other to the other side and then close up this other side too so i'm going to close up all the sides and then the crotch too and then we'll have the complete pants once that is done we'll come back and join the pant to the top part so guys this is the pant you see i've gone ahead and joined everything this is the bottom part of it this is what it looks like right now and if you see i ripped open the seam back again for the front the back panel the back is still the way it was right but the front i opened it up again because i'm going to be joining both the front and the um, i'm going to be joining it together now so i'm going to join it from one side of the back i'm going to also open up the back panel for the upper part now and then i'm going to join this whole side i'm going to join one side of this to, the, to this side and then one the other side of this to this side if that makes sense so you remember we had a zipper allowance at the back right so that is what i'm opening now so now if i open up this center zipper allowance now i'm going to and this front is now like this so i'm going to take this whole side from one part of the zipper and then join it all the way towards the front to meet each other but you will have to start from this front part if, if you want self you can even add it front of this part of this to this and then back of this part of this to this leaving this side open so that you can close it once right and then just have that straight seam going from the pants to the top if you want you can close up this seam and then close up this side but just make sure that whatever you're adding that it's equal right but i feel like if you join it separately the back to the back like this the back to the back the front to the front you will better distribute the the length and it will be equal is what i'm trying to say and then i'll do the same thing on this other side too from this side to this side once i do that we'll come back now and add the placket for this side and then the placket for this other side too so guys you see i've joined mine like i said i use the seam by the side here to join mine you can join yours however you want and you see the back still has the zipper allowance and i'm still going to rip this open but it's just that i won't rip it open all to the top but let's leave that for now and concentrate on the front so for the front like I said, if you if you were using um um invisible zipper, you want zipper in front, guys. You can even go ahead and use that half an inch here. Since it's an invisible zipper, you can still use a zipper in front. But since we are doing button, this is how we're going to do it. We're just going to go ahead, you cut out something that is like three inches of width, and then cut out another one that is about um two inches or one point five. Then you're going to you are going to make sure that it's the same, like it's long enough to go down, even go past wherever your, your opening in front stops. 
and then what you're going to do is guys you have to pay attention on this part now what you're going to do let me turn it around so you guys can see what you're going to do is take the one for the three inches you're going to start with this one take it sew it let me open this up take it like this sew it on one side like this first make a stitch down and then turn it over like this and then just use it just like this so let's say I've, if, if i take it this way now i'm going to sew it down all the way to the end and then i'm going to just turn it around this way fold the other end of it and then fold it like this this way i've, I've created like a bed for the bottom to stay on you understand let me open it up and then tell you so this is what i'm saying this here this is where it stops this is the opening in front take the one that is three inches width the wider one take it to this side this is how you're going to join it to it so half is three inches half an inch of this side is folded half an inch of this side is folded the two of them will meet each other like this exactly like this and then half an inch of the this part of this thing this half an inch that we left here will now be inside of this band here and then you sew it all the way down even down to this inner part where the, it has the seam allowance you're going to do it all the way in there so i'm going to go ahead and do it now so guys now you see i've joined this side here you see i've done it here the 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 part where i'm going to this part is going to hold the button so you see it went in even up to like one inch into the part the lower part of this pants you see this is it here this is the seam here it's covering this side so now this other side now we are going to also attach something to this other side this other half an inch on this side now this one is the one where we are going to add the two inches or you can, or you can use 1.5 this is what you're going to do with this side two inches is perfect don't use 1.5 so you're going to join it use half half an inch here that same half an inch now you're going to use it to sew this down the first part of it down but once you sew it down what you're going to do and you turn it over like this now what you're going to do is you're going to just take it like this and sew it to the body of this side you understand so first thing is that you're going to take it the way it is now get that your two inches here join it to the end of it like this once you've you've sewn this down like this now go so guys i've not finished joining everything but once you join like i just joined this part just so you guys can see so once you join it turn this over this part with the seam joined together will be at the edge right it will be at the edge it will fall over like this it's, it's going to cover this one this part here is going to cover this one so you see this part here you're going to fold it in like this all the way down and then what you're going to do on on the inside now is that you're going to tuck in half an inch inside here put it down like this and then top stitch it on its own on this side all the way to the end let me explain again get your fabric two inches join it with half an inch on this side fold it in this edge of where the two of them meet each other will be the edge of the cloth it will be the edge the side it will be that part and then the inner part of it you're going to tuck in half an inch on inside here and then you're going to top stitch it you can even stitch it from the inside stitch it all the way down like that do it all the way till you get to inside of this part so guys this is it here like i said you see i've joined the one on this side it's just folded if you look closely on this part you will see my seam where i joined everything together you see you see the seam this is where i joined it together to fold it towards the back and then join it like this so it's just li um, lying on this part of this the, this one here so you see all the way inside here and then once i got there i just top stitched the two of them here so you see i just top stitched it down here if you look closely you see it so that's basically how you're going to create your button like i said if you don't want to use button those two half an inch that you have like on each side you can use it to just add a zipper to and then the like you're going to put in the zipper one on each side one on the other side and then these two ends here these two long ends here will enter inside of your um collar you understand they will enter inside of the collar so now that's why we've not done the neckline because when we finish everything we we'll now do the collar so now the only thing we have left is to put the invisible zipper at the back and then insert our collar so to put the invisible zipper at the back i've gone ahead and ripped open the rest of the seam you can still see where it was before you see where i ironed it before so now this will help me to um know where to insert my zipper so i'm going to go ahead now and this you see i didn't open it all the way to the top because i still have at least like um two inches 
closure at this upper part here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this zipper like this half an inch like like i'm going to sew it in just like this right but i think i might still rip this open a little bit and bring it up and leave like 1.5 here because i want it to go all the way up so that i if i leave 1.5 here then half an inch of this is going inside of my um, collar you understand so i'm going to still take it up because these two inches is too much and then i'm going to sew it all the way into the pants so let me go ahead and do that now so guys this is what i have here so let me show you the back now you see this is my invisible zipper i've not ironed it but this is what it looks like right now so now the next thing i'm going to do is the collar so guys i've shown you how to do like the easiest color you can do several times here if you don't want to draft it so you can just go ahead the way it is now measure around your neck from one side of this neckline and you can just go ahead and trace your 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 color so what you can do is this here you're going to take your tape measure it around all the way to the next side and what i got for mine is just round the whole opening of this neckline all the way to the end here end here so i got 18 18 divided by 2 is going to be 9 so i'm going to go ahead and mark 9 right at this point here and as you can see i first came up one inch from the end of my clothes here one inch ruled a straight line on that point here so i'm going to go ahead and mark it so you see this is one inch line that i came up with and then after that the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go in one inch on this same line here so from this end here i'm going to come in by one inch mark it here and then on this line here after that you're going to go ahead and extend this one here just extend this line so guys once you get your paper right you're going to go ahead mark one inch from the end of the paper rule a straight line on that and then after that you're going to go ahead and insert your um show them uh, sorry your neckline measurement round your neckline by two whatever you got mark it on that line and then extend that line all the way once and for all just go up all the way i came in one inch from that point right once you do that you're going to also go up after, on that same line this line that i marked here i'm going to go up 2.5 on that point and then i'm going to go in here on the end the center part of this line i'm going to just go in two inches you see i'm going in two inches i'm going up two inches from this point here and i went up 2.5 from this point here because this is the pointy part of your collar this is the center back of your collar so now what i'm going to do is from this point here i'm going to just connect it to this end here and then now from this here to this point i'm going to connect the two of them together right and then once that is done you're going to go ahead and just give it a curve on this end here I already have a tutorial on how to make a color on my channel on how to cut this type of color on my channel so all i have to do is just to go ahead and cut so i'm going to go ahead and cut from this point all the way out so guys you see i've cut everything out normally we would have separated it at this line here and use it to cut the upper part and put it inside of the lower part but if you want you can also just trace it the way it is right so i'm going to go ahead and trace it every other part of this here starting with this part here this part here and here and the lower part i'm going to add half an inch to it except this center part because this part is going to be cut on the fold so guys you see i left half an inch all over by the side here and the bottom here except by this corner here so now all i have to do is just to take it open it up and then i'm going to just join it together so i cut two of it here so i'm going to just go ahead and open it this way and then i'm going to sew this corner like this all the way to this side here join it here and then come down flip it over and iron it if you have your stay you can also iron that in so guys you see this is what it looks like right now i've joined everything so i'm just going to take it the way it is now and and i'm going to i joined it flipped it over and ironed it so now i just have to take it the way it is talking half an inch on this edge here talking half an inch on this edge here put it inside like this and just sew it all the way around till i get to the other side so guys this is basically what it looks like guys this jumpsuit is really nice you see see the upper part here you see the neck here everything is done then this part here the pocket and then the waist it has this belt here i just have to still trim off some of the thread here so you're going to make something like this here attach it at the upper part attach it at the lower part if you want you can put it at the back but i'm just going to do two in front it doesn't matter that's okay and then this is the 
end of the pants. I still have to fold it. And then this is the back. You see? Like I said, you're going to put your invisible zipper inside. Guys, if you look from... Let me open it so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside with this um, invisible zipper. So, so you see, when I got to the neck to put the collar, I just put the collar and, and just went past this here. You see, my zipper thing is still facing... Each one is facing this one. Each one is facing this one. And then my zipper is here. So if I go to the back now and open it here, you see what it looks like? You see? so this is really nice like this if you want you can still have a zipper in front it doesn't matter you see you will not even know that there's a zipper here so this is it here this is the back just like that right and then for the belt you're going to go ahead and make something that looks just like this and then you're going to pass it through bring it forward from here and then they can tie it and that's basically it. Guys, if you want, you can even use this type of pocket that it has here. And then you can attach this pocket by the side of the pant. I think that will also look nice. Like, but it depends on the type of fabric you're working with, right? This type of pocket that we added here. I feel like if you want, you can even bring down one of them and put like two of it on these two sides here. It will now look like, um, like cargo pant. But that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see my next video guys please like share and subscribe bye